Good evening, I'm Merle Purvis. And I'm Daryl Green. The FBI is also looking into this case now. That 17-year-old girl is safe and at home tonight. The suspect facing charges. Investigators tell Fox 13 the girl was kidnapped and taken five hours south to Natchez, Mississippi for sex trafficking. That's where Fox 13 Zach Crenshaw has been digging for answers. He has the latest developments tonight. What exactly happened when she was down here is still unclear, but police believe they have enough evidence to charge 31-year-old Darnell Davis with human trafficking. Well, the crime happened in this small, idyllic town. Much of the investigation is focused on one man and a few cell phones. In the Riverbank town of Natchez, a Memphis teen said Darnell Davis tried to get her to prostitute herself online. The victim's mother told Fox 13 the girl was taken to an RV trailer behind a red something laundry mat. We found that laundry mat and the trailer. Well, it's very disturbing. You know, you don't realize this stuff's going on around you. You don't, you never know. RV neighbors like Zipper say they didn't see any teen girl this weekend. Never noticed anything out of the ordinary. No, not one day. That's probably because investigators think Davis was using another house in the area to commit the crimes. He was usually here all day. When he was gone, it was usually at night. On Sunday, police caught up with Davis on I-55. The victim's family communicated with Davis and the teen to discover she was being transported back to Memphis. The FBI and Hernando PD now have Davis's phone as evidence. They also have two 17-year-olds, the victims, and Davis's cousin's cell. He was in the car as well and knew the victim from a summer camp. The police departments in Natchez know almost nothing about the crime. Right now, the full truth is likely locked inside Davis, who's locked up in DeSoto County. One Memphis teenager is fortunate to be home safe. The town of Natchez is now taking a closer look at who's living next door. I hope that Darnell Davis gets prosecuted if he's guilty. And I hope the girl gets help. And I, I wish him all the best, her family. Right now, Davis is being held on a $1 million bond at the DeSoto County Jail. One person who's not in police custody is his 17-year-old cousin who is back in the area. I'm working to get in touch with that cousin and we'll have his side of the story tonight on Fox 13 News at 9. Reporting in Natchez, Zach Crenshaw, Fox 13 News.